How's it going guys? This week on CineScan I have for you Pigeon Impossible. Now this is actually a short film and it's also animation which is I think the first animated film I've actually done on the show and it is written and directed by Lucas Martel who actually when I looked him up he had done some help on the set for Sin City. Some of the other writers on this movie were Austin Menges, Scott Rice, and Gopal Badari. This movie can be described on IMDb as The tale of Walter, a rookie secret agent faced with a problem seldom covered in basic training. What do you do when a curious pigeon gets trapped in your government-issued secret agent nuclear briefcase? Alright, so I just got done watching this film. It's not long. It's maybe like six minutes. And I have to say, I really liked it. It reminded me of the same art style as Incredibles. Now, I'll admit I don't know much about animation other than, you know, watching childhood films, all the Disney films and stuff like that. I can just relate it to those. I did like this movie. I can easily recommend this. And it's a good family-oriented movie because it may be funny to all ages while it doesn't cover any... You know, some cartoons can be crude sometimes, but this is definitely a family-friendly movie. And one of the things that I do often see with short animated films was relapse in this one where they had no dialogue, but there was they had no trouble being funny in this short movie. Now, like I said, this is easily recommended. Just a small little six-minute short film. You can easily watch this with a little sibling or if you have a family and I'm gonna leave you guys with something additional to comment down below besides of you know a movie or a short film that you would like to be covered on this show I want you to tell me what your favorite animated film was either recently as a child or if there's one in the future that is coming out thanks again guys it's always positive and helps out the show if you like subscribe and all that good stuff and I hope I'll see you next week